What is up, my students? In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know how on how to play Vi Jungle like a challenger. And for starters, Vi Jungle, I've been playing her a lot on my main. I think she's really strong right now, and I think she's really OP if you know how to play her. I think she's really good at climbing, and she's a great jungle pick for low elo, but also high elo. Why I think she's so good, I've been maxing W second, so Q into W max, and I find it very, very strong. I've also been going Sunder Sky into Cleaver. These items were sort of like buffed as well, and I feel like this build's really good with Frozen Heart as an armor option. Her, you know, sort of like late game power is insane. And the way I've been playing her is, you know, first clear, I try not to go do anything crazy. I just play like really, you know, she is, she can gank early. Don't get me wrong. You can gank as vibe, but she's also just a very good, you know, just farming jungler. And here on blue side, we're just going to go and try to clear as much as we can. So here I'm against Kindred. She has Ghost. So Ghost is good for me. Because if she has Ghost, that pretty much means like she can't really flash my... You know, she can't flash my flash. She can't flash my my skill shots. So that's really good. Basic understanding. Ease and auto attack reset on Vi. So you just always have to remember that. So here I'm always going to auto attack E when I'm playing her. Also, your passive cooldown goes down by 3 seconds every time you proc your w and the reason why i skilled w level one is because it just gives you attack speed and a lot of damage as you can see here and once you proc it it just gives you that beautiful attack speed and it's very good for you so when you're pathing this vi just remember to play really about yourself you can level three gank but honestly just getting this first clear is important here i always auto instead of queuing on the camp just to line it up like you just saw me and once i line it up like that it's just really easy to kill the rest of them so i just find that you know, very effective way. And here, if you're against like a cheeser jungler like Kindred, who could maybe level three invade, you can always drop a ward there just to feel safer. So you can always do your camps with a bit of safety involved. If that makes you feel more comfortable. But yeah, you want to play either you know, level three gank or full clear. I've been favoring paddling bot a lot of my games. So, I mean, my advice to you is to just, if you feel like you can path bot, try to win ball lane like if you're gonna win bot it's just very good but also just remember to play for yourself first so here as an example i'm playing for myself by just making sure i clear all my jungle and here if i didn't want to fight ball crab i can always go for top crab but as you can see kindred is top side so that just gives me like sort of like the green light to just go and just play for crab maybe even get the janna here as she's kind of face tracking here we go auto combo very nicely done Here, I'm going to just eat the tower and just get the kill. Maybe I can get out. Yeah, it looks like we're out. Okay, very simple. That mechanic you just saw me execute there is a very interesting one. It's pretty much your E is kind of like AoE that pushes every, hits everything behind. So I was able to kind of utilize that and just get that beautiful kill. Very nicely done by me. Very good, very good for us. Very nice. Here, I can reset if I want to. But also, I can play to kill this guy. And then we just get the combo, we get the kill, Barb baited that really well. And here I'm just really want to base, right? Like, this is a pretty good early game. What you saw there was what I flash queued on earlier was actually... Yeah, life is a... Life's an oyster. You never know when you're going to get your base cancelled. What you saw there was actually... Here on this play, I flash queued, right? The reason why I flash queued on that play... Was because her... She was charging her tornado. So Janna was charging her, her tornado... So obviously, like, if I don't flash Q, I'm going to get knocked up. It's a pretty obvious situation. So what I do is flash over the tornado, instantly just start queuing her. And we're able to chain CC with, with Bard Q. I didn't plan for Bard to hit Q. I just felt like that was the only way that play was going to work. And sometimes your intuition is really important in just knowing, like, when you feel like you need to do something now instead of having to, like, oh, maybe I can walk up and Q here. No. If I want that play to work, you have to flash. But when you get to level 6, Vi's ganks are much more... The way I would put it is they're much more control, right? They're much more around the R. Here, I would love to just one-shot one of these because I can Q over. I pretty much dodged the crab vision, so I'm not too scared of that. <clears throat> and here, I'm going to save my smite until I feel like, okay, maybe Kindred pops up. But now we see Kindred bot side. So what does that tell me? That tells me to continue killing their grubs. If I didn't know where Kindred was, I could easily back off from where I am. And just go and just farm my bot side. If I felt like, okay, maybe this Kale is going to move because my Nasus isn't getting prior. Or maybe this Akali is level 6 and she's walking towards me. 
it's completely fine guys to just walk away and here i don't really want to invade because my kill pressure against like a kindred is not that good vi is not like a very good invade jungler she's much more like if i can get my jungle farm if i can get these kind of like if i can get this like level six it's a very it's a very big power spike and i traded grubs for dragon it's perfectly okay what's bad about kindred what she's doing she's barely farmed she spent so much time ganking not even getting grubs and just overplaying everything so that's like really bad for her and here we just get a counter gank which just insta kills her she's playing like she's just playing extremely poor right you just it's pretty much the things we don't want like the things i tell you not to do where it's like you overplay for stuff here we're just gonna pink here and set up a nice little house she's playing really scared but once you get kind of q here Killing her there, it's a bit hard. I was kind of like testing the waters to see, you know, if... If I could hit a Q from a weird angle. Here, we have to be s smart about how we want to do crab, right? I'm just going to E, proc my shield. That was a bad Q by me. I should be able to get this for free. That was a really bad Q by me. The reason why I should be get the reason why I feel like really confident here is because we have bot priority and we have mid priority. My bard needs to move here. I'm gonna R right away so she can't flash out. Now we can walk up for her. Personally, I think going on Kindred would be the best play, but see, she respects the sort of play we're going, like our aggression. Missing the Q on Kindred is bad, right? See, this is the thing. Hitting skill shots. You have to think about what the other champion has for mobility. So if I want to hit a skill shot on Kindred, what do I have to think about? We'll have to think about Kindred Q and possibly her flash. There, I didn't really think about Q. So I always think about the Q. If I Q this guy point blank, if his Q is up, he's just going to Q and dodge. So always think about this. You should always think about the mobility spell the enemy champion has when you have a skill shot that you need to hit. Especially Vi, right? Vi, I really want to hit my Q and stuff like that. So, the trick is, you know, the charge time takes a bit of time. But, you can always move yourself to change the way you sort of approach it, right? Like, I can always act like I'm not going in. Maybe I'm coming from this side. Like, you can kind of like... Obviously, I missed it, but... You can kind of mess around with how you're doing your, your Q. And you can also Q flash or flash Q. Q flash is a bit harder to pull off because it has a weird sort of like it has a weird coding. It's a bit buggy. Sometimes it hits even if you flash on them. Sometimes it won't. It's a bit like a 50-50 but it's instant so it can always catch people off guard. If people are clumped up I always Q flash because that that is when it always pretty much hits. So here we're gonna do red. Oh shit she's here. This is really good if we can get a fight here. So me going top side a bit greedy there. So what do we want to do? We can either force a play. Bad Bard Ard. No Kindred's there. I was lost in thought, but yeah, we don't want to be losing our jungle like that. That was a bad play for me. I had it. My Raptor was marked, so I should have played to like defend it. Doing the Wolves was greedy. I could have always skipped the Wolf camp. Greed is a sin, guys. Void Grubs are up. So I have a few plays here. I think I'm just going to Insta kind of like cross mid. What I like to do is just kind of like the around the world right here. So we're just going to cross all the way. My mid is strong. Crab is spawning. So I do want to play for this. I don't want to give them anything. The way they're moving too, I really think I need my team here. Because I think they're doing some weird, weird stuff. Like this Janna being here. So I just have to kite this out. Kale has no R, so she much gets one shot. See, I'm just kiting out and waiting for my abilities, right? That's, that's a big thing. It's all about sort of like kiting and waiting for your spells to kind of come back up. Yeah, that was a bit unlucky. Bard kind of dipped a bit early there. So did my team. My team dipped me. I think my team left way too early. But it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got a crab. Thank God. If I lost that crab to Kali, I would have been like, 
Uh, I would have been so done. There also you see how I just kind of switched targets right away. Once Kale gets Ard, well, whoever gets ulti just switch. No reason to stay on them too hard. But this is when you start to get really strong. I mean, that's like Kali Flash R. Here, you also notice how I'm not going for Void Grubs. I'm really not interested in trying to go for Grubs and stuff like that. Here, we just want to get behind her, just ready to eat. Break her down, Janna. Not on my watch, Janna. You're not going to do that at all. Here, I feel pretty confident with my buy that I could just mess up the Kindred pretty bad. Remember, she has a dash, right? So we have to respect it. But I think I can chunk her fast there. She's quite weak. You see how we were able to do a lot of damage there. Here we can flash on her, right? Now we just kite it out. Wait in the brush where they'd have no vision. See, I'm tanking as many chests that I think is necessary. And you know, she's really the the vibe playstyle is very in and out, right? Hit and run. And obviously my R is down, so what do I have to do? I kinda if I just stand still and keep auto trading kindred auto for auto, it's not like right now I don't think it's strong I'm strong enough to do that. So what I do is I take that trade, push them back. It's a very short trade pattern, right? Q auto attack W. Proc that W and you just back up. What's really cool about it is you can get a lot of damage off and it procs, procs your shield so you can just sort of absorb and back up if you need to so here i want to hit her she has r ready would love have would have loved that kill there but it happens happens here and here our base timer what do we want to do waves crashing that's check i could just go farm i just don't really like my base right now i could base it's not bad to base, but I don't I don't absolutely love it. Plus, I have all my jungle to farm. The thing about Vi is she takes really low damage when you're farming, so I could just... Pretty much, I can farm everything. And then be full health. And also, Void Grubs are up. I could insta-run there, but I don't think it's necessary. This late in the game, I already have three Void Grubs. So I'm very, like, uh... Very... Accepting of the Grubs. I'm very, I'm very sacrificial about the grubs. I wouldn't mind taking them here, but I'm not going to throw everything at the grubs. Here, my R is 50. If my R is down, what does, that, what does that mean? Most likely, Kindred R is down as well, so we can always think about that. There's two things Kindred could be doing here. She could be on the Krugs or coming to the red. Since she's not on the red, that means she's on the Krugs. And then if she's on the Krugs, that means she's coming to the red. So here, we're just going to cure her and push her towards the wall so we can chain CC. Vi Q is sort of like a push, right? So you can change the way you want to push them by the direction you're on right so if i'm in front of you i'll push you backwards right if i'm behind you i'll push you forward right so you can sort of use that as like a advantage so here the void grubs despawn which is fine for me we're the ones who were able to get three extremely happy about that don't really want to force a fight because i can just farm up a bit I don't generally like soloing herald but it's the fact that i'm already here the enemy jungle is dead we have ball prio we have four people here and we have no one bot side so we're losing bot side farm so might as well just get it right now buy is a really good objective solo champion you can solo dragons really easily you can generally do herald quite fast so here's actually the final base timer and would you would you look at that a cleaver base this is called efficient basing even though it's greedy it's only good is the only reason it's good to base like this is because i'm really ahead so i can the more ahead you are the more greedy you can be Kindred R cooldown, no ability haste, is extremely long cooldown. So here I just want to see. I don't mind if she trades, I'm just A moving her. Here we are now. And yeah, very nicely done by me. I'm gonna chase the woman, Janna. Damn, Janna, your legs look fucking nice from behind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get over here. Janna, slow down, your toes. Slow down those toes, Janna. Come on. Oh my god. Women. I'm always flashing away. I just wanted to say hello. Well, you gotta show up on a Lambo. You gotta show the women the Lambo if you wanna get them. Oh shit. Apparently my Lambo malfunctioned. Now we're in a bit of a situation. Uh, 
think I'm gonna have to take the grubs here. It's a great escape. Part two. That's what they say. What do they say, Inori? Well, that's what they say. When women love that cool whip. Sacre bleu. I really am invested in killing this Janna. Sorry, guys. If you like Janna, don't watch this video. Auto, 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 auto. So close, man. I I'm devouring them. But the two item spike is huge. Like, you should feel like a god. You are a god on this item spike. If you get to this point in your head, like, the game is really easy because your Q cooldown is so short. Four seconds. You're perma seeing people. It does a an insane amount of damage when it's fully charged. Your W is getting maxed out. So you're doing 10% of the max health every third hit. Your spells count for a hit. So your E, auto, everything. Very broken. The R, of course, like we're talking about, an insane amount of CC. And now we go for boots, right? Generally on Vi, I think Tabby's is really good. This game, it's actually a Tabby's angle. You're probably like, Inori, Kale does magic damage. Kale is an auto-based champion. Boots reduce... Tabby's isn't an armor item. It's it's a reduced auto-attack basic damage item. So it works on magic damage champions too. That's like what's important. I don't really look at like if the enemy team is like doing attack damage because 20 armor is literally worthless it's more about is the enemy team a basic attack champion basic auto team comp so like jinx auto attacks kindred auto attacks and also kale auto attacks so that's a lot of auto damage reduction that we're able to utilize here i guess the dog was able to kill them here so here i should have been on boss side doing dra oh my god wolf down wolf down call the call the all patrol yeah, I should be on Dragon right now. I'm kind of drooling. My wandering is like, this is like a wander. It's probably like you guys, you're not thinking about where you're going. You're not looking at the map. Like, if I looked at the map, I'd be like, oh, hey, Dragon's up. I should be. Or even Dragon's coming up in 30 seconds. I should probably just go bot side. But sometimes you get lost in your thought. You get lost in the sauce, but it's okay. Get this Drake. It's uncontested. You should be, should have been, should have been dead a minute ago, right? That's for all of you watching. Should have been dead a minute ago. If it's easy for you to solo, you're strong, you can kill anyone around you. Like, it's sh this Drake should be dead. Killing the Kale is, like, very worthless. Sure, like, it's not bad, but I'm saying, like, these objectives are what's going to slowly carry the game. You have to do objectives when it's time for objectives, if you're good. If they're good for you. And then fight when it's good for you. Here, fighting is good because I'm just giga chatting. And here, I just are fast, and from here, we just kind of see where she goes. Keep chasing with our spells. Auto, Q, auto, proc that, hit her, chase, chase. Try to pad the bit in forward of her. Just so if she R's or any king, we could always like push ourselves in the right direction. And here we play for crab. And for me, I'm third item, like later in the game. So my my build. Oh hell no, Kindred. Come on. I'm not gonna sweat it, Kindred. I'm not gonna you get your ass over here, Kindred. Don't you ever fucking turn your back like that on me. Don't you ever turn your back on me. Huh? Huh? Jump! Jump! Come on, little lamb. Jump for me. That's what I like to see. I take fights. I challenge myself. I challenge myself to the limits. That's how you're going to climb. That's how you're going to be a better player. It's not about that. Sit back, relax, have a good time. Cup of tea kind of shit. It's about putting yourself in the uncomfortable to become comfortable. That's a lesson for life too for you guys out there. You have to be really sly and careful because I can easily get claps on. So I have to be a little cautious about here. But if I pull the red buff in the brush, there's like no witnesses and it's generally easy for me to kill. So here we can actually charge up our Q for whoever's space checking here. R charge, buffer, kill, one shot. Extremely easy. But even for you guys, it's going to be this easy. I, I would recommend a I think Vi is really good for climbing right now. I'm going to do some more Vi stuff for you. I think this is the most broken build that's the easiest to use. So you should use the most broken build that's the easiest to use. Here you can go Frozen Heart. But if you're really ahead, you can go Sterix too. Sterix is very strong. So like we look at it, we get... Let's see if the enemy team was very auto base. Yeah. Yeah, Frozen Heart's good. I honestly, I have to see how I feel about Frozen Heart when they nerf it, but I still think it's really good on champs like Vi because of how much you're really about spamming literally just this, this one spell. It's all about 
charging Q, auto attack, trade, and then kind of kiting back and stuff like that. So really just kind of think about that. Here we just have to make sure we see what's going on. I could go on her, but obviously if I Q here, she just presses a Kali E. Realistically, it's not going to happen. Here I'm really strong. I'm not afraid of no one. I'm afraid of no man. I am no man. Oh my goodness. It's a woman. It just Lord of the Rings reference. Man. Just ignore me. And usually for MR, I really like to go for the the shield one. Kanik Rokern. Rokern. Sorry, my pronunciation. I think those ones are really good. DD is also really good if you want it. Sterix as well can be really good. But I feel like sometimes later in the game, you don't really need too much. Usually this is like enough for damage. And yeah, Frozen Heart is really good. These two items are the core though. Always this one. Frozen Heart so far is really good. If you need MR, go with the, ro the shield MR item. Very good. Here we use Fog of War. Oh, I was just tanking that for my boy Wade to get out. Go, my child. Run. Don't let them tell you you can't be... You can't dress however you want to dress. You can dress however you like. You go... You, you, oh my god, Akali, though. Yeah, usually I go Frozen Heart, then I go like this item. Sterics, really good as well. DD, really good as well if you want DD. And that's usually the core builds. Randuin's is such a gimmicky item. Honestly, don't think Randuin's that good. It's because it doesn't give you ability haze. You really do need ability haze. And Frozen Heart and DD are the best items that give you ability haze that also give you armor. So those are like your two options. Here, Dragon's coming up 20. I could go top side, but also boss says Dragon's coming up, so we go Dragon. And you obviously don't want to be like running into the base and trying to kill them. But at this point, you do want to be playing for Baron, so... After I do Dragon, I'm going to cannibalize some of this jungle. And then I'm going to start walking to this jungle to take control of the vision and just take his camps. And by doing that, I'm going to slowly kind of push their vision back. And then we're just going to be able to start Dragon. Especially when you have two inhibs, you can just push them all the way back like that. And it's just really easy to win. Very easy. No need to fear. And Nora's Vi is here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's focus. Focus up. Focus up. Here, let's go finish the Drake. Cannibalizes the jungle. Maybe grab a Jinx booty while we're here. Looking at that. Um, it's looking a little delicious. Hold on a second. I'll be back. This is so fast. Yeah. Here, like we said, just take whatever jungle we want. If necessary. But here, because we see Kindred, we want to actually go there and fight the Kindred if possible. Now we start Baron. Enemy jungle is dead, just start Baron. Don't even question it. When you have good waves like this, just start Baron. Sometimes you are... A lot of people wait for you to actually do the Drake like Baron too. A lot of people are... You know, sometimes you have to be the, the ping master in your game. Like, you're the one who needs to make the calls. Especially around, like, objectives like Baron. You have to be willing to like make up his like call like executive decision like we are doing baron you must you must do this okay just be ready for that and here could be the final push could wait around personally i think we just final push could have art her i'm gonna queue backwards and run Oh my god, I'm actually dead. Maybe I trolled a bit. Alright, that wasn't the best decision. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. That, oh, oh, that was not the best decision there. Do we need MR? We died to a Kali, so that's probably a yes on MR. So I'm gonna start building MR. Big boy doggy is going in now. Oh my god, what? Half health? One Q? 
G great Jeebus. Yeah, Frozen Heart doesn't do anything against the call. Let's respect that. But because we're so ahead, obviously, we, we can make mistakes. You can make more mistakes based off how ahead you are. But you're only allowed a certain amount of mistakes. Because now if you give them too much time to farm, it's not good, right? We don't want them just to be, like, power farming. It's very bad. Power farming is not good to give them that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... I had a pressure, honestly, without these objectives up. Like, doing something in their jungle. Catching someone who's trying to over-push a wave. This kind of stuff is just very important. Most importantly, what we have to do is just straight up group up. So if we just group up and we take a fight, it's just much better. My R doesn't really work as well because... You know, if I R someone, Kale can R it. So I have to be a bit more intelligent with how I sort of want to engage the fight. I can still ulti, but hitting a Q on someone else can be much better. Here, this is a good, good angle. I'm going to just R fast here because I want her to R. Now I can kind of kite back. Just going to join the party here. Okay, okay, okay. I like what I see. And that was just a good fight. I also smited her before... My Q went off, and you can smite shields, right? You can smite banshees, you can smite spell shields right before your ability is about to hit. And it's really OP. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck in your games.